welcome back to traffic signal design in this video lecture i will go through signal design of two phase by webster method and the webster method of traffic signal design for the two phase is described by an example the average normal flow of traffic on crossroads a and b during design period are 400 and 250 psu per hour the saturated flow values on these roads are estimated as 1250 and 1000 psu per hour respectively the all rate time required for pedestrian crossing is 12 second designed to phase traffic signal by webster method for the solution the first step is to calculate the ratio of volume to saturated traffic flow for road A that is YA is equals to 400 divided by 1250 and is calculated as 0.32 and similarly for road B for ratio of volume to saturated traffic flow is calculated as 0.25 then sum of these ratio that is capital Y equal to calculated as 0.57 then the total total loss time L is calculated by the relation L equals to 2 times of N plus R that is R is the total all rate time and is given as 12 second therefore total loss is calculated as 16 second then the optimal cycle is calculated from relation that is CO equals 1.5 into L plus 5 divided by 1 minus Y and is calculated as 67.4 second and is rounded to 67.4 second then the green time for road A is calculated from the relation that is GA equals to from the relations and calculated as 19 second and the green time for road B is calculated as 22.5 second and all rate for pedestrian crossing equals to 12 second and providing amber time for 2 second is for clearing clearance therefore total cycle length is calculated as 67.5 second now phase design phase diagram for road a green time for road a equals 29 second and amber is 2 second and the rate for the traffic on road a equals 24.5 second and all rate for the road a and b equals to 12 second and the rate time for road B 31 second is respectively equals to green for road A plus amber for road A and similarly green for road B and amber for road B is respectively equals to red for road A and all red time for road B in this case same and in this video shows that the green time for road A and red time for road a and similarly when the rate for traffic at A that is a green for the traffic uh, traffic pedestrian for road B and this is the video showing the all rate time for the all road for the pedestrian crossing that is given as 12 second in this case all rate for the traffic in these all four leg intersection and a green for the pedestrian that's why pedestrian can cross the road easily Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more video lecture, solution and tutorial and your comments will be highly appreciated. Thank you.